and decided to go for it. <laughs> I just poured pouring medium and I just wanted you to see what it looks like when it's not dry. Um, I'm taking a huge gamble because this over here, on this side here, this is the Elegant Writer which bleeds when wet, but I'm um, counting on the fact that it's actually been touched with water so hopefully it won't bleed. To be continued. This is an hour and a half after I have poured the medium and as you can tell I have quite a substantial amount of bleeding where the Elegant Writer was. Right here, right here. But I'm not upset. I knew it might happen and I think it's going to add an air of mystery to the whole piece and that's the way I decided to look at it. There it is. It's all dry and as you can see it's very shiny and it brought all of the colors to the foreground. What I really like is how it reacted to the metallic paint. I'll zoom in so that you can see. So as you can see the metallic paint kind of like was pushed to the back a little bit and all the black scribbles they came up to the foreground. It's tough to explain but that's the illusion that I get when I look at it. Um, you see that the pouring medium is, has kind of like a rippling effect and that's because it's not self-leveling so if you are in um, a room that is not level like mine I know right new condo but totally not level um, it will have that effect so I don't mind it but I think next time I will experiment with the self-leveling medium I'm trying to give you a close-up of each of these parts I really I, I don't regret it I'm very happy now to talk about the elegant writer and how it bled I kind of like it like I said in my updates I think it adds an air of mystery to the whole thing. It didn't bleed as much as I thought it would. Um, just a little bit. I think here is more noticeable because I really hadn't touched this part quite much. So whatever was left to bleed um, did its work, I guess. And then um, that's why it is a lot stronger there than it is anywhere else. But I, I love that. The pouring medium on the metal, not so noticeable but I know it's there. It added um, still a nice sheen to it without taking away from the fact that it is metal. You can still tell that it's metal. Love that area. I think this is one of my favorite parts along with this one right here. I love that. I think this is cool and the bright colors. So that's it. I was going to post this on Friday, unfortunately, uh, because I decided to add the pouring medium. I didn't want to redo another video just for that. I wish I had recorded the beginning, but it wasn't intended for uh, a process video in the first place. But because there was so much going on and I knew that I had to retouch it, I figured might as well um, do the end tail of it. Yeah, I like it. I've enjoyed the whole thing, the whole discovery. So don't be afraid to experiment. Uh, don't give up either. Here, I love how the green pops with um, the addition of the pouring medium. It made all of the colors really vibrant. And so I think I'm gonna frame this and um, it'll be kind of like my Halloween-ish cityscape. Grunge futuristic. <laughs> <laughs> that's how I decided to call it. All right, that's it for now. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. It helps. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. I, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below and I will see you later. Bye.